Oh, show, and I'm hoping that you have a good day. And it is right now. Uh, by the time you get this video, it will be Friday. <laughs> well, actually, Thursday. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I'm getting my days mixed up. Anyway, Thursday, which is in the morning, which daylight comes. <laughs> But it's 1.51 a.m. Central Time here. And uh, couldn't get online earlier because there was lightning and all that kind of stuff going on. You know, so God is good. Amen. Ho ho. And uh, anyway, you know, you know, I sit there and I. I notice, you know, like we always do, we notice different things on YouTube or on the news or something going on in the neighborhood or whatever. I sit there and I notice you, we, we get a lot of, uh, get a lot of people who spend more other time of doing several different things, uh, <laughs> um, arguing, of course, trying to prove who's right and who's wrong. Now, I know you have to make a stance for the truth and, and things like that. I understand that, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, you know, they, they get into arguing over something that don't even have nothing to do, basically, with uh, salvation uh, and the truth of God's holy word. And, uh, and some, they'll bring up the Bible and, and stuff, you know, and, and little parts there, right? And, they, and, it, and, it, and it's about trying to be right. Uh, it's not so much with the person, I mean, uh, so much as about, about God's word being right. It's that they want to be right, you know, it's about... I'm right and you're wrong, you know. That, that's a terrible thing. Uh, it's, it's very terrible to get into. Um, I mean, you start out, some of you start out, uh, and whoever you is, you only you know. <laughs> but anyway, you, you start out with maybe a good intent. Somehow or another, it gets twisted. And now it's about you being right and everyone else, hey, they're all wrong. <laughs> and, you, and you break your neck just trying to prove you're right. And somewhere, somewhere uh, you know, what what happens? Not, re not concerned about reaching a soul, uh, you know, preaching the message of the cross uh, to someone. You're just concerned about being right. I sit there and see that about you know if it's if it's if it's about Bible scripture or if it's about a by uh, a myth or a story, uh, uh, it, it's about translations, uh, ver Bible versions or whatever. Uh, it's just different things. I mean, you know, why do you feel like you have to prove you're right? You know. God is able to reveal things if you pray for people. And then if the other person will stop and quit trying to argue so much and just say, okay, if God will be, you know, God will show me that I'm wrong, you know, or help open my eyes or something, you know, I will listen. You know, see now, if you open your heart up to the Lord and listen, and just keep this buttoned up long enough so you can listen. You'll know whether he says yay or nay, you know. Simple little solution, actually. But, uh, and also I want to encourage you to remember your brothers and sisters out there who, uh, you know, while you've been busy arguing, and fussing and and everything and you've been neglecting your brothers and sisters who's weak in the Lord 
who stumbles and having struggles and troubles, you know, and trials. You're supposed to help them. You're supposed to encourage them and be there to support them and, and, and let them know how much you love them. But what are you doing? You're spending more time fighting, trying to prove you're right. Everyone else is wrong. It's not good. Remember your brothers and sisters. And what I want to say is encourage one another and build each other up, okay? Time is short. The Lord is coming soon. And oh, by the way, a little word of advice. When you start hearing a bunch of people start saying it's 2012, 2015, 2011, you know, about when the Lord's coming, run away from them if you value your spiritual life. If you value your soul and your life, run away from them. Okay? Because then you're getting away from this, God's Word. Getting away from Scriptures. Somebody who thinks that they know more than Jesus Christ. Yeah. So you, you want to be careful about that. Don't get wrapped up into that. Then it goes right back to what we're talking about. People fussing and fighting over it and... And these people has to be right, you know, and they will fuss and they will call you names. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They'll call you everything, condemn you to hell and everything else. I mean, it's that bad. Trust me. Okay, but hey, we're not, you know, if anyone calls themselves Christians and they're using being foul mouth and, and, and putting curses on people, then that's not a Christian. Okay, understand it. Mark that one. As, as bad fruit. Well, needless to say, I mean, most of you know, I'm not going to insult your intelligence. You can pretty much tell what a bad fruit is, right? Pretty much, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone can see that, you know. It's like you can tell when there's something rotten, all right? You know, or there's some spots there that ain't sounding like, uh oh, I don't think this fruit is very good. Well, Let's keep our eyes open and also let us keep an eye on ourselves too, so to speak. Because see, we're all susceptible, I'll get that word out, uh, to, fail to failing. We're susceptible to failures and things. But we're also susceptible to being blinded to our own faults. You know, yeah, that's right. People are, are that way. And, and we have to pray and ask God to open our eyes to help us see our faults and our failures. To help us to, as the old saying goes, to sweep our doorstep before we sweep somebody else's. To pluck the log out of our eyes before we get try to get the speck out of someone else's. But I think with a lot of us, it's not just a log in our eye. We've got a whole forest in our eye, you know, and it needs to be clear cut. Yeah. So, anyway, these are just some, trying to give you some encouragement and some food for thought, you know. This is something we all need to remind ourselves of, okay. And I want to, you know, do my part to help reach lost souls. And to also encourage people in the Lord. Alright, so God bless you all. Shalom. And remember, Jesus loves you. And share that light and love of Jesus to others. By spreading the word. Witnessing. And let your life be a light that shines so bright. They'll be drawn to you. But like a, a, a moth to a light, you know. And then once they come and they hear, they see, they will want what you have. And then they can see the, the where they can be able to have a light of their own. And that light is Jesus Christ. Yeah. And He can shine through them and they can reach others, you know, something to think about.
it's our duty to reach the lost. In our examples, in word and in deed, we must reach out. God bless you. I hope.